Hey guys, what is up? Boris here, and today I'm coming to you guys with another One Piece Theory of the Day episode. Uh, in case you guys haven't checked out my previous episodes, make sure to uh, click on the playlist, on the One Piece playlist on my channel, and you guys can see all the previous One Piece videos I've done. Uh, also, make sure to stay tuned for the rest of October, because I'll be doing a new theory video every day. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get into this video, which is going to revolve around a character named uh, Ki uh, Killer, who you guys know is one of the supernovas. He's the right-hand man of uh, Eustace Kid, leader of the Kid Pirates. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the similarities between Killer and uh, a character from the recent chapters, Rocinante, uh, otherwise known as Corazon. Now, the thing about Killer is that he's a very mysterious character. There's uh, a lot of mystique around him, mainly because we have never seen his face uh, throughout the entire series. He wears a mask similar to that of Daft Punk's uh, mask. Um, and he's, he's worn that the entire time, so we don't know much about him uh, and uh, why exactly uh, Oda decided to cover his face up. Um, out of all the supernovas, he's the only one who doesn't have a name that uh, corresponds to a real pirate or a real person from the real world. Uh, Oda tends to name his characters after um, real world uh, pirates um, or famous people, but Killer um, is, is not named after anyone. He said Oda said that himself in one of the SBSs. So um, that's a very interesting thing about Killer. Uh, another thing that I, another thing that people find about Killer is that he seems to be the brains behind uh, the Kid Pirates. Uh, it was, we, as you guys all know, used as Kid, he's very. Um, very driven by emotion. He will fight anyone who looks at him in a weird way. Uh, and the kid is the guy who has to tell him, you know, hey, look, calm down, calm down. He's the guy who has to explain a lot of the stuff to um, kid, as we saw, when he had to explain to him the significance of the ox bell uh, back in the New World. And uh, we're seeing it here recently in, in, in um, the Punk Hazard arc, where he uh, pretty much <laughs> had to control him when they were trying to put together the alliance uh, and I'll show you a picture here um, so right here as you can see uh, you know uh, Apu's creating a ton of uh, chaos in um, Killer's lab or Killer's um, base and uh, what's that? Killer here or not Killer oh yeah Killer or Kid's base and Killer's the one who has to calm Kid down and say look uh, first of all Wade Hawkins you know don't be so hasty and we guys to you know quit we you know, weren't our three pirate crews uh, pretty much supposed to? It, what, what he's trying to do here is trying to, to set, settle everyone down and tell them, look, I gathered you guys here because I want to make an alliance. Um, in fact, uh, in the previous page to this, um, Kid didn't even want to see a poo, scratch man a poo. But uh, Killer's like, look, man, this guy's strong. We have to, you know, I, I want him to be part of this alliance. Which um, is interesting. It seems as though the one who's in charge of making this whole alliance is Killer himself. So that's that's something very interesting. Um, again, I think he's like the brains behind the whole thing. A uh, sure kid is the, is the one with the higher bounty and the guy who's more known, more well known in the pirate world. But uh, Killer is definitely, I think, he's going to be play a very important role. Uh, and maybe people are, you know, underestimating him and really not pay, paying too much attention to him. Okay. So now that I've gotten that out of the way and I've sort of explained a little bit about him, uh, I'm going to talk about a little some of the some of the similarities between him and uh, Rocinante. Well, first off, is their fighting style. Uh, from what we've seen, Killer and Rocinante are both. Well, from what I've seen from Killer, he's obviously a melee fighter. He does not use the devil fruit uh, in in fighting. Uh, he uses his blades. So uh, he might have a devil fruit or not. Uh, or he might have devil fruit, but it, it's definitely not a melee fruit because we hadn't seen him use it. He hasn't used one in battle yet. Um, and what we know from Rosinante is he has devil fruit, but it's not useful in battle in terms of physical melee battle. Um, so there's that. Both are melee fighters. Second uh, similarity is that they both have uh, the yellow hair. Now, yellow hair is very rare in One Piece. We have a couple people, so, you know, Sanji is a big one, who have the yellow hair, but definitely. Um, you know, Doflamingo has it, Rocinante have it, you know, so they, that family has the yellow hair. And we saw, we see that um, Killer here has a, a, a lot of yellow hair. Now the biggest similarity between the two comes when you look at both of their pictures from when they were kids. Now, uh, of course, in the recent chapter we've seen uh, Kid Corazon, which I'm going to post a picture of right here. You can see him on the left. And then um, 
Kid Killer was actually drawn in one of the SBSs by Oda himself. And I'm going to post a picture here, right here. Okay. Uh, the, you, can, you can see Kid Killer seems to have, his hair is a bit longer. And it's, a, it's more well kept, of course. And, you know, uh, Corazon is a homeless, uh, dirt poor on the streets. He's not going to have the ability to uh, have his hair well kept. But um, definitely, <laughs> you know, there's a big similarity there, and a lot of a lot of people take notice of this. One last picture I want to show you guys is this one. Uh, this was during, uh, again, uh, during Punk Hazard, and this is where uh, Eustace uh, tells Killer that it, it's useless to watch. I'm sure you're not someone who's who's uh, who would work as a broker either, Killer. So uh, in this panel, we see that Killer is not really the kind of person who would uh, work really in the underground and be a broker. Um, and so, but yet we see that Killer is very uh, uh, focused on the on the television, on the broadcast. Uh, so that, you know that this this sort of uh, to me it, it, it tells me sort of that maybe I think uh, he's very interested in what's going on with Caesar the Clown. Uh, why would he be interested? Well, maybe you know maybe because he's interested in what happens to Locke. Um, maybe uh, another possibility is that the, is that the reason he's on Supernova is because he saw that Law started his own journey in the Grand Line, and so he managed to uh, go on as well to sort of look over Law, you know, watch over Law and make sure that you know he doesn't do anything too too dumb and too stupid. Um, and then uh, Killer actually the reason that he's making the the whole alliance is because he heard, he got you know, he got word that Law's trying to take down um, Doflamingo and Kaido. And um, you know he he's trying to get this alliance to sort of to make sure, to make sure that uh, he can help Law when the time is needed. So because we, we saw that uh, even Eustace Kid doesn't really care about the alliance. He doesn't want to see Hawk scratch and Apu. Yet um, you know Killer saying that this is a good move for them. So uh, you know is, is Killer really the <laughs> sort of uh, the guy behind the scenes who's uh, you know, sure, Kid is, is the stronger one, but, you know, maybe Kid is, is sort of manipulating him a bit and trying to use it for his own goals. Again, if we think about it, the only two supernovas who aren't um, captains are Killer and Zoro. Of course, Zoro being, like, the second main character of the show, and then Killer, you know, is there, is there a reason why he's so he's so strong and not, but yet not a captain? You know? I, I believe his bounty was even higher than some of the other supernovas, so uh, definitely... You know he has the potential to be his own captain, but he's he's fine with Kid because you know there's some he, he has something to gain out of being with him. So maybe he's just trying to to uh, lay low. Um, and the reason he wears a mask is he doesn't want anyone to realize that you know he he's he's a uh, Rosinante or Corazon or whatever. He doesn't want the government to find out. He doesn't want the Flamingo to find out. And his main goal is mainly to look after law. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Um, pretty. Uh, you know, pretty out there theory. I don't normally post these kinds of more speculation, but definitely the picture of the two kid of the kid version of Core's own kid version of Killer uh, are really interesting, really interesting, very similar. And uh, Killer's always been a character that's been very mysterious. I don't, uh, you know, I've been very interested in to finding out, you know, why does he always wear a mask? Why is he sort of hiding him? Uh, you know, he, he had sort of his own jo Jolly Roger after the time skip. Uh, which is also kind of weird to me is how you know normally you'd wear your captains with Jolly Roger, but he had a, you know his own Jolly Roger on his shirt. That you know can look very close to a like a smile similar to Doflamingo. So um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know people are speculating that uh, Corazon is actually even Cobb. Of course that can't be since even Cobb has a devil fruit that's different to the one that one was introduced for Corazon. So. Uh, yeah, again, guys, um, new video for the rest of October every single day. Uh, make sure to look out for that. Leave your comments down below uh, what you guys think. Uh, is this too crazy? I mean, I actually do think it's too crazy of a theory, but you know, it's a theory nonetheless. You know, you're going to be wrong 90% of the time, but the 10% of the time you're right, you know, you're, you like it. So um, that's why we do it. <laughs> that's why we make theories. But uh, leave your comments down below. If you guys like uh, the series, like always, like the video so that people can. Uh, realize that the series is going on. Um, make sure to uh, watch out for my next videos coming out. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.